draw Nina. Um, I have my black marker, and you're going to need your black marker or your black crayon to draw her. I'm going to take my lid off, and I'm going to get ready to draw Nina. Remember, we start at the top, and we draw her head first, which is either a circle or an oval shape. I make it big enough so that I can put her eyes and her nose and her mouth in there. And then she needs a neck. And then I'm going to use a triangle for her body. And then I need what? I need some legs, right? So I need to put two rectangles. And then she needs some arms. So I'm going to put two rectangles up here as well. Now her feet are going to be ovals on the bottom, ovals, and I'm going to give her some shoelaces. And then for her hands, remember we have to draw the palm of her hand first, which is like a circle. And then we need her fingers. And we're going to do like we did before where we're going to draw the five on one hand and the five on the other. So we're going to count on and see how many there would be all together. So she's got five plus five and that equals what? Ten. You're right. Ten. I could hear you all the way at your houses. Ten. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. She has ten fingers. And then we're going to give her two ears. And we need to put some lines in there, add some details. Lines for her ears. And then she needs some eyebrows. Two eyebrows. Two eyes. Remember the circles go in the middle and then she gets a dot for her eyeball. Like so, and we'll give her some eyelashes. Another detail. And then her nose. Remember she can have um, eyelashes on the bottom too, because we have eyelashes on the bottom. And if you remember the eyelashes we have are to keep the dirt out of our eyes so they don't get scratched. And then Nina needs a big smile. She's always smiling. You can give her lips, you can put teeth in there, whatever you wanna do. And it looks like I have a lot of the details done. I might add something to her shirt. She likes um, scary stories, so I'm gonna put a ghost on her shirt and my ghost. It's kind of like an oval that has two eyes and a big mouth that says boo. I might write boo on her shirt too, just to be silly. You do not have to draw a ghost and you do not have to. Um, you can design your shirt for Nina any way you want to. You can put flowers on there, you can do a pattern. Um, I just chose to do a ghost. So now I'm going to put ground underneath because she can't fly. She has to have something to stand on. And then I might put, um, I don't know, a flower over here. You remember how you make flowers, the triangles for the um, leaves, and then circles around the circle for the flower. You don't have to do a flower. You can make whatever you want to make. All right, and I might give her a sun up on the top. Add some more details to the background. And anything else you want to do. Also, I'm going to write Nina's name. It only has four letters. So let's write Nina N is a capital letter first, uppercase letter, and then a lowercase I, a lowercase N, and a lowercase A. Nina. All right, and Nina has kind of shorter hair. She also wears her hair a lot of times 
pop the side of her face a little bit. So I'm gonna give her a couple of those. And then her hair is not very long. I'm going to color that in brown because Nina has brown hair. But first I'm going to make some lines for her hair. Add some more details. Alright, I think I have a lot on there. I'm going to color her skin with my peach crayon. If you remember, it's skin color. And then Nina's eyes are brown. I'm gonna dump my crayons out here so I can see what I got going on here. Her hair is brown, so I'm gonna color her hair brown. And then, her eyes are also brown, so I'm gonna color her eyes brown. I'm gonna finish coloring my picture. You can start on yours, and I can't wait to see your pictures posted in the comments below. Bye friends. Next, we'll draw Philip. Philip.